Nancy will never love you, William. She's just not capable of it. You're lying. No, I know, I know. This is hard to hear. I know it's hard to hear. But she's selfish. She's a born liar. No! My heart is full, bursting, and I am humbled to be standing up here before each and every one of you. I am honored to accept this Bible. I am honored to accept this charge, and I will pray each and every day to live up to it. My mom loves me. You can't hurt her. Will, Will, what I do, I do for you. That's what my dad said. He wanted to hurt her too. But I showed him. I showed him. Good. Alonzo? Well, what do you mean? What do you mean you showed him? My friends, my promise to you today is that I will serve and love. Yeah, I've had enough of that. We could do a little more shopping after we eat, though, if you'd like. No more shopping. I don't like the crowds. Oh, was there a crowd? I didn't really see a crowd, because when I'm with you, it kind of all just fades into the background there. Oh, you're such a charmer. I'm being honest. It's the truth. Yeah, I tell you to quit the act, but I like it. You do? Mm -hmm. Ah, I do want to. I do want to make one other little stop on the way home. If that's okay. okay. I would like to get you your own Christmas tree. Can you set it up in the house? Not, not like one of the trees that my auntie puts up. Like it just came from the department store. Mm -hmm. All perfect. I mean, like a real tree. Oh, I love that. And with real lights. Yes. That we string ourselves. And I have some old decorations. It'd be perfect. Old decorations, mm -hmm. perfect. Now. Is it really um, true that we're not going to wake up together that morning, Christmas morning? Gus. We're waiting. We're waiting, that's right. Yeah. I keep forgetting that. <clears throat> now you keep asking me what I want for Christmas. Mm -hmm. I finally thought of something. What would you like? I would like for us to set a date. Seriously, no more waiting, Gus, for anything. Hey, Emma, this looks pretty good up here, right? Yeah? Oh, hang on. Oh, that, um, that silly banquet manager. He always calls. I know. You know what, let me handle him. You Can you make a pretty um, centerpiece there in the middle? Put the ornaments in there, okay? I'll be right outside. Olivia Spencer. Yeah, no, I've left a lot of messages. I, well, I just, I, I, can you see me? I really don't want to wait till tomorrow. And I know he has a lot of patience. It's just that I'm kind of anxious. Okay, well, if you get an opening, will you call me? Thank you. Hey, perfect timing. What are you doing here? Emma, I got her some. Ice skates, oh. little Christmas present. Um, you know, it's they're not wrapped. Well, she's only gonna tear off the paper anyway, right? Could we not do this? Do you mind just not doing this today? I. Um. Yeah. Sure. Fine. Um, when would be a good time? Because I'd really love to see her. I don't want you to see her anymore, Bill. Not ever. Everybody, just, just stay back. Give him some air. Rick. Rick Bauer, are you here? Right here, what happened? Oh, Will, Will, don't look, honey. Family. Destiny. Light. Hope. Charity. Friendship. Love. Faith. Laughter. Joy. Kindness. Understanding. Peace. Forgiveness. Happiness. Freedom. 
There is a destiny that makes us brothers. None goes his way alone. All that we send into the lives of others comes back into our own. Okay, it's very funny. Olivia. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not joking. She's my daughter. Technically, yes, No, anyway, she is. you slice it. What is going on with oh, you? You've barely seen her since you've been back. I've stopped by. She hasn't been here. What's it say when you can't plan ahead? Oh. When you can't take the time to wrap a present? Okay, besides, it's weeks early. So what? The pond is frozen now. Bill, she deserves more than a part-time dad. Oh, my goodness. I am trying. No, here, this Olivia. isn't you trying. This is you being a mess and then showing up hoping that Emma's going to make you feel better. Can I see her or not? <laughs> Not like this. You're just going to hurt her, and she deserves more. You keep saying that. <clears throat> Look, what if something should happen to me? Nothing's going to happen to you. What would anything, happen? anything can happen to me at any time. So what? Anything could happen to me at any time. See, Which... you have to think this way when you're a parent, and the fact that you don't... Well, it proves that I'm not worthy? I mean, this is the second stupidest conversation I've all had right, all day. All right. this is what, my... what if you suddenly had to take care of her? Then I would handle it. I would get my family to help out. Family can't stand you, with the exception of Dinah, who can barely take care of herself. Bill, what's her favorite color? What does she like for breakfast? What's her shoe size? So that's what's important? Yes, it's all oh. important. It's all important. Okay. And maybe there was a time where this could have been casual for us, and I would have liked New Bill, but I can't afford that now. And neither can Emma. So please, if you can't commit to her 100%, don't do it at all. Tell her Merry Christmas. Some adore the pain, not a hero standing. Okay, so you, you would like to actually set a wedding date? Yes, a date. A date. We'll get everything planned. We'll, we'll figure out where it's going to be, everything. Okay, and, and you don't want to wait through, you know, the holidays? No, because then something else will just pop up. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And then the sooner we do that, the sooner we will have no more nights like last night. Sitting in front of the fire. Nights like kissing. For last hours. night. I'm sorry. But did I do something wrong? Because. Uh, no, no, no. I'm talking about when we had to stop. Oh, when we had to stop. Okay, then I, you know, I know exactly the right person to talk to about all this. Okay. All right? I'll just carry this when you take it. Not a place, but a couple of buttons missing. Okay, can I have everybody's attention, please? Uh, these guys have work to do, and I think the best way we can help them and Edmund is to get out of their way. Okay, so thank you for coming. Thank you. Well, just stay with Reba for a second, okay? Do you think the hospital is the right place for real right now? Well, I think it's where both of us have to be, don't you? Yeah. Okay. Can you help me get this off? Sure. Where did you go? What do you mean, go? Go! Uh, be before! Before the ceremony, it's a, it's you were nowhere to be right found. Now. I have that, this I, happens I, in your It's a long story. I have a lot to deal with right now, so like, let's just drop it. Okay. I'm going to go to the hospital with you. No, I don't think it's a very good idea. Why? Because there's a lot of chaos there. You don't need that right now. The baby doesn't need it. So just stay put, please. Uh, Rick, I couldn't help overhearing. Does, does Beth need a ride somewhere? She... Uh, I just if you could just take her to Towers, I would appreciate it. It'd be my pleasure. Hey, Beth. Uh. Couldn't have happened to a nicer guy, huh? Huh? Uh, yeah, right. What do you think he was doing up there? Probably trying to find the perfect place to shout out what he knows about Cassie switching Beth's paternity test. Must have been pretty mad about being sent to San Cristobal to stand trial for Alonzo's murder. Must have. Good thing he took the spill then, huh? for everyone concerned. I need a drink. Towers? Yeah, or three or four. <laughs> 
Sweetie, I promise we won't keep you there long. We just need to go to the hospital to see what Edmund's condition is. Can we go now? I don't think he's processed any of this yet. Well, it's a lot for a kid. Well, we need to shield him from as much of this as possible because he loves Edmund. Yeah. Hey, 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 where have you been? What do you mean? We were supposed to be meeting. To discuss the Andrea Daniels proposal. Ah, uh, is that today? She's gonna be here in less than half an hour, Bill. Half hour? Then relax. I'm early. No, we were, we were supposed to be having a strategy session. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna wing it. Cause you and I, we're good. Have you been drinking? Tell me that you're late. You're late. You blew me off to have a oh, drink. Oh, my goodness. Will you stop it already? My day has not been the greatest. Your dad is going to rehab today. I'm just saying. I already have a mother. Good. I don't want to be your mother. You tell me, Lizzie, what do you want to be? Can we just get back to work? Choir law. It's quite a fall. Sure is. It's not exactly the kind of perch that you just automatically or accidentally fall off, is it? I would assume that the police are going to start questioning people. Yeah, I wonder what they'll be asking then. Where we were? You, me, and, oh yeah, and Rick. We were the only three unaccounted for. Oh, but we were, remember? We split up to search for Edmund. That we did. Awful lot going unsaid in this conversation, isn't there? Yep. It's been a conscious since the fall. Full body x ray MRI. You got internal injuries, I'm sure. Let's go. Move it. Dr. Bauer. Yeah, we've got it? this covered. What are, you, what are you talking about? It's my patient. This is coming from upstairs. Upstairs? What are you talking about? Look, Charles Grant knows you have a history with this guy. So what? That's ridiculous. I'm a professional. What do you want me to say? I guess you can't blame him, Rick. I mean, this thing's gonna get a ton of publicity, and the littlest thing goes wrong. I mean, you're looking at a, I don't know, liability nightmare. Yeah, it makes sense. So what are you doing here? This. This? What, somebody called the police? It would be more surprising if somebody didn't. I mean, come on, the most hated guy in town takes a tumble from on high. Well, you gotta be kidding me. You think this wasn't an accident? Well, I think it's a little too early to tell, but um, I'm gonna have to get your statements. Actually, I'm gonna have to get the statement from everybody that was there. I'm gonna have my hands full. Yeah, it looks like it. Listen, I'll give you some time. I need to check on my wife. I'll be back in a minute. Excuse me. Okay. Hmm. Uh, you got him in the exam room, no news yet. I take it you're here uh, for statements, right? Yeah, if you got a minute, that would be great. Okay, listen, I got... Let's see if I heard this correctly. Edmund just landed at your feet? Yeah, that's pretty much what happened. Um, Will, uh, give us a minute with this officer, okay? Yes, yeah, sweetie, why don't you have a seat right here, and we will find out how Edmund's doing really soon. I promise. Is he ready for x-rays, doctor? Yeah, have surgery prepped soon. Do I look sad enough, Uncle Edwin? Like you told me? You wanted to hurt my mom. Well, honey... Edmund. He's awake. Edmund? Edmund, can you speak? Edmund. Edmund, did somebody push you? Hey? Edmund, did someone do this to you?
Come on, Edmund. Okay, on. Mallet, don't push him. Edmund, speak. Come on. You can do it. Edmund. Uh, you shouldn't be in here. Just hold on, okay? He's trying to tell me something about maybe how this happened. Just well, come on. What, you won't be I'd doing like any to get the story. Now. Please leave. Okay, honey, we should get out of here and let the doctors do their job. What happened? Edmund came too for a minute. Uh, Did he say anything? Not while I was in the room. Will was there with him before I got there. Hey, Will. So how about all that in there? I mean, did Edmund say anything to you? No, he just looks sad. Okay, so Will. Come here. Excuse us. Miss Daniels. Hi, Lizzie Spaulding, Lewis Construction. So pleased to meet you. Is it just us? Well, my boss, I'm just no, Steph, Lewis. is right here. <laughs> Andrea Daniels. Mm. I'm sorry I got this since you were older. Oh, it's my father. I'm in charge now. So you are. Mm. <laughs> we should get started, Miss Daniels. I think that when you see our figures, you're going to see that our company is the best choice for your new development. Okay. And that is a great color on you, by the way. Oh, this little thing? Yeah, it's very form-fitting. Oh. Very nice. The figures. I have the figures right here. I was just thinking about that, the figures. You yeah, were. I was. It's cold out here, don't you think? It's a little chilly out for chilly. a meeting. Yeah, maybe we should just go someplace warmer. My assistant here could put the numbers together, send them to your office while you and I go uh, talk a little more strategically. Bill. Sounds like a good plan. Yeah. <laughs> Bill. I got a place at the Beacon, not far from here. We can do that. You can handle that now, can't you? <sighs> Lizzie, I don't know what I would do without her, shall we? Yeah. Oh, and Lizzie, when you're done with that, you can take the rest of the day off. Oh, there's so many selections. Thank you for letting us see this. Lizzie. Sure, no problem. Do you want to use your washroom? Not at all. It's right through there. trying to see my doctor, and I, I had some, some new tests done. Yeah, and, and, and what what they say? I, I'm going to find out. You're going through this alone. I don't, I don't really think you should be. You know what? I just, I really don't want Natalia or Philip or anyone else to find out. I mean, you're the... Exception. Yeah. And I, I will, I think that's, yeah, I respect that, but if I'm the exception, why don't you let me, you know, I could help you handle some of this. Yeah. Really? And what if I said you don't get to say no? I, I don't want you lying to Natalia. Well, no. no it, would, it wouldn't be that kind of lie. I mean, friends, right? I want, I want to do this. So if you I, just I, take, no, hear me out. You take this, you wait outside for two minutes, and I'm going to come with you. I, I, I don't think you should just give me two minutes. Thanks. I. Where's Olivia? She got a call. She had, she had to go. She said we should just uh, go ahead and look through all our books and. Oh, that was nice of her. See, see what you. Yeah. And I just got a call from work, and uh, they want me to come in. It's your day off. I know. It's just so typical. What you know? What you look through everything, and you know. Until you see what you like, oh, and then yeah, you know, and then you run it by me a little. I just want you to be happy. I love you. Come on. Love For as long too. as it takes, I'm sure she won't mind. And then we'll go over it later tonight. Okay. Right. <laughs> want to do this alone? What's the matter, sweetheart? No, no, um, nothing. Nothing. I was just saying goodbye to Alan. Yeah, I, I saw that. It just seemed like it was a pretty involved conversation. You know, I, I, I really need to sit down. I'm going to get us a table. Could you get me some mineral water? Sure. Nothing, nothing yet, but... Uh, but, but... 
Well, apparently the police are involved. Mallet. Yeah, well, we were anticipating that very same thing. Mallet. He's a good detective, isn't he? He's one of the best, yes. actually. I, I'm sure he's going to start by trying to figure out who would want to see Edmund dead. Hmm. Well, if he started at this table, he might never feel the need to look elsewhere. Well, the doctor says that Edmund is unresponsive. Well, does that mean... Uh... Oh, you never know in cases like this. What they're going to do is take him to surgery now. They're pretty confident they can stabilize him. And then I guess after that, it's just a big waiting game. Makes your job harder, I guess. Yeah, I kind of got nothing. Okay. Well, witnesses were telling me that Edmund was dragged out of the church after the Christmas pageant. And so you, do you guys know where Jeffrey was uh, taking him? Did you uh, hear anything before it happened? Uh, sound of a struggle? No. Did you notice anything out of the ordinary? I mean, anything, anything at all? No, nothing. Can we go? Yes, sir. I, I, my focus was on Josh the whole day. I just. Will has been here long enough. I really just think he's had a huge shock today. Yeah, no, that's that's fine. Of course he has. You yeah. don't mind? Not at all. Not a bit. I just want to get him home. Yeah, no, I think you're right. I think you're right. Uh, if we think of anything else? Yes, here. Take my number. You got it. Thank you. That was a friend of mine in radiology. Uh, Edmund has slipped into a coma. Well, did he say anything yeah, before? Yeah, I didn't say he worked. So, uh, Mallet's gonna have to piece this all together. Only with what people have to say to him. Jeff. Well, we were, we were, all three of us, in the back of the church. We had a clear view of the loft, where Edmund was alone in the loft. Three of us together alone on the ground. And from where I was standing, he seemed very upset, overwrought, in fact. Definitely upset, desperate. Desperate to get a look at Cassie and Josh right, on the ground. Which means he would have had to lean over. Too far. Dangerously so. And that's why I think I saw him slip. And uh, before he knew what was happening, he, yeah, uh, he just went right over. It was over. That happened like that. Okay. So, I mean, clearly. I don't think we need to go over this again. I mean, are we clear on this? I think we, uh, I think we're very clear. Yeah, I think... We all agree on exactly what went down. So what about Josh? What about him? It's just the same thing that we tell him, the same story. Word for word. Vanessa. <gasps> Hi. Oh. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be bothering you. What's all right? What, what's up? What is it about? <sighs> I don't want to, um, I don't like doing this, but you know that Billy and I have grown really close, and while he's my friend, I know his faults, his weaknesses, and I just can't watch Bill go down the same road. What road are you talking about? I mean, is it is it, his drinking? <laughs> to say the least. Well, you know, if it's anything else, he's a grown man. I know he is, but that is what we said about Billy, and now he's going to rehab him. Okay, I'll, 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 I'll speak with him. I just don't want to see it affect his work. Yeah. I'll talk to him. The sooner the better. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Bill! Bill, honey? Okay, ready? Now. Mm. <laughs> there you go. There you go. Did you want some of that? Who are you? Uh, Mom. This is your mother? Um. Yes, I'm his mother. Uh, I should be going. No, no, no. Whoa, 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 whoa. Wait, wait, wait. Do not leave. I didn't, I didn't even make introductions. Uh, Bill. Yeah, come here. This is, uh, this is, um, uh, well, a really nice girl. A girl who is so 
Nice. She's worth taking home to mom. Um, and thank you for saving me the trouble. It's Andrea, jerk. <laughs> I will talk to you later. I, it's... Okay. Where, where are you going? I have to go. But we didn't even... That's right. We haven't even. Oh, come on! That... Come on! You. I decided not to take the day off after all. Oh, Natalia. Natalia. I'm sorry. Hi, Ellen. Is uh, everything all right? Something wrong? I'm just trying not to overreact to something... something I saw. Uh, you have a moment to talk about it? It's nothing. I know, it's, it's probably just... it was... nothing. All right, then. So you know Olivia pretty well, right? Uh, yeah, you could say that I do. Uh, is she being hard on you at work? She can be a pretty tough boss. Work is fine. Then... Oh. Oh, what? Rafe uh, came to me the other day. He was uh, wondering about Olivia and Gus's relationship. He was? Yeah. Are you concerned about them in any way? No, I'm not concerned. I know Gus. And I know that he's helping her out with the whole Philip situation, and there's nothing wrong with that. Absolutely not. I just, I got this odd feeling today. It was nothing. You don't want to know what I think. Why? Well, you can trust Gus, but... Uh, but? Gus is the only Spalding male that Olivia has not sunk her fingers into. You know what? They tell you to rush over here and then they just take uh, it. Olivia, Olivia, hey, wait, I know. They make you wait. That's med school 101. I think it's a required class. <laughs> Got a small smile on you. We don't know what they're going to say. I know I'm dying. I am. It's a fact. Well, you have a lot of living to do as well. It's not just this. What is it? It's Bill, you know? He's, he's changed, and now I'm worried about Emma. So if something were to happen, he becomes the legal he can't, guardian. I can't, he, can't get, he can't get custody of her. He's, he's not in any condition to be a father right now. Right, and maybe, maybe I can help out in this department. You know, I did go to law school, and hopefully it wasn't for nothing. Oh, oh okay. I'll pay. Oh, you'll pay. Miss <laughs> <laughs> Spencer. Hi. Hey, thanks um, for coming in. Sure. I... Want me to stay? Yes, please. Um, so how did those tests come out? We were hoping for better numbers, to be honest. Okay. Um, when I first met you, you said something about a heart transplant? Yeah, yeah I have to be uh, honest about that, too. Is this where you talk about the really, really long list that she has to get on? Excuse me, you are a... Detective Ituro, Gus Ituro. I'm Alan Spalding's son. Ah. Oh, I got your attention. I see. Well, see, Miss Spencer here is the mother to one of Alan Spalding's most favorite granddaughters. And uh, I think my family bankrolled this hospital. And I, if I'm not mistaken, uh, the money got spread around to all the departments, probably including yours. That it has. Oh, good. Well, here's my question. Would that have anything to do with her placement on this list, sir? I know it's been a roller coaster day, honey. Why don't you take off your pageant costume and we can just sit down and, and talk for a little bit, okay? Maybe we can sort out what we're all feeling. Hmm? I feel tired. Of course you do. Sweetie, why don't you just lie down for a while? I don't know what to do. Well, obviously, we can't push him, you know, not after something like this. Listen, listen, um, I made some phone calls earlier. Calls? Yeah. Um, made some arrangements. 
for Edmund. I don't want Jeffrey in charge anymore. Edmund was supposed to be locked up, not framed for something he didn't do. I'm really sorry that all this got so out of control. I know it's because of me. No, I know no, no, it's don't say because that. of what stop, I did. Just stop saying that because it's not, okay? Right now, all I want is to protect my family. So, what is the big idea of bringing my mother here? We were supposed to be working. I guess I don't like to be ditched. Yeah, well, did it ever cross your mind? Getting her into bed was my way of closing that deal? Uh, yeah, are you going to put your pants back on? Do I need to? Look, yes. I'm sorry if you don't like the way I do business. <sighs> and I am sorry if you're jealous. I am not jealous. You are not jealous? No. Oh, okay. Uh, Whatever you say. And by the way, that was a fantastic job earlier with that presentation. Really, I, I mean it. I am so happy that I kept you around. Oh, Lizzie. Son, what a surprise. Dad, I'm uh, in a rush. Uh, I just wanted to tell you that I saw Natalia earlier and we had a nice talk. Yeah, we are getting married, uh, okay? Yeah. It's the end of it. Yeah, well, you sound pretty sure of that, don't you? Dad, um, I know that you think you had a shot with her or you think you have a shot with her still, but why don't you do everybody a favor and for once in your life come to terms with the fact that this time you lose? Oh, no, I don't. Leave him alone. Excuse me? Can you just be honest with me? I want to know what is going on with Gus. With Gus? Because mm -hmm. we are this close to getting married, so why are you going after him? Right, and you were saying that he was leaning over? Yeah, uh, looked like he was trying to say something. Like what? He was just acting just crazy, really. I mean... I, I think that he would have done or said anything to try to ruin that day. Anyway, that's when he, he slipped. He just, uh, he fell right with the master. Landed right smack in the middle of everything. Is that the way you saw it, Beth? No, no, um, I, I was, I was up front, uh, focused on Josh. I think that everyone was. Well, everyone except you three. You all have such similar recollections about how all this went down. Oh, it's because we were looking at it from the same vantage point. Right? Is that it? Because I'd I, I like to get my wife home. Uh, yeah, I might have more later, but after I sift through this, thanks. Okay. Yeah, you know how to reach me, right? Okay, let's go. Hi. Hi. Is he right? Right about what? Rick, I'm not stupid. He obviously thinks you three are lying. Now, I asked you where you disappeared to before the ceremony. Stop. You never gave okay, me an look, answer. Bottom line is Edmund showed up to cause some problems. Okay. The one thing that the three of us agree on is that we weren't going to let him do it. That's the bottom line. Let's go. So, got everything you need? Yes, you three were very helpful. It was an accident. Yes, as you keep saying, but Edmund can't confirm nor deny that. You really seem to be 